Well, welcome back to PRI Indy 2014, and we have caught up with one of the legends inside the category of pro modified racing and fast door car racing, Keith Haney, and track operator and owner Tulsa Raceway Park. Keith, you've been running your legs off. How's your show going? Shows went real good this week. You know, we have a lot of great, uh, a lot of great sponsors come on board now for the. Uh, I guess it's our third year. This is a, be our fourth year owning the track. So everyone's come back on board, met up with some others, got new sponsorship for the throwdowns and um, a lot of the a lot of the other races that are going on. So pretty excited about that. And then of course Keith Haney Racing. You know yeah. I, my sponsors there. They're all back on board. We sat down with uh, Lucas Oil and um, Racing Junk had dinner the other night all together. It went real well. They've uh, always been a part of the team. Uh, great supporters, uh, Forrest and Morgan and all them guys were just great. They were a delight. And the GM, um, Don, uh, great dude. Yeah. You know, Rob Geiger, which handles all their marketing, right. which handles ours too. Um, everything went real well. So Yeah, they are some good people. How about the series? How about the old series we got going on here, the series? Uh, we got one, two, and three in the books, but next year we're going to get pretty wild because you're going to get after this thing next year. Well, my goal, my goal in the series is to um, – bring a little insight to drag racing itself and Keith Haney racing both. You know, uh, it's a family sport. You're going to have good times and bad times. There are going to be people that are mad in the pits. Yeah. I mean, our, in our pits, you know, we don't, if we don't run good or someone didn't do their job or whatever me, and I want people that are sitting out there watching this to be able to experience. It's no different than anything else. Racing is racing, whether it's dirt, drag racing, uh, Funny car. It doesn't matter. It matter any type of racing. It's still all the same. And but to see the inside of it, you don't get any better than that. And that's what I want to deliver to the fans. And uh, if you are a follower on Facebook, you've seen sessions one, two, and three. Now we did those toward the latter part of the year. But next year we're going to follow this thing as many races as it goes to, whether it's eight or ten or whatever it does. And um, we're not going to call it a reality show. It's not what it's going to be. It's going to be a drag racing car show that's real period yeah well and reality it's it, it'll be part of reality too because i'm sure they're going to catch a few things that i don't want my fans or my people to see but i mean you know what it is what it is i don't want to cut word anything word out here or there well maybe but i don't want them not to see the actual reality of drag racing if they knew how much if people knew how much hard work went into this yeah. and how many countless hours our teams put in preparation before a race yeah. everything's done before a race Champions are won when nobody's looking. Right, that's right. That's exactly how it works. So these guys that I have, I got the best team. I got Dale. I got Randy. I got Brandon Pez. I got Brandon Schweitzer with Schweitzer Dynamic. I got Dan Carver that helps out. I've got Andrew Arnold, John Collins, um, and these guys all help make it a make it a good thing. You know, I said it again, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it. I've said it two or three times now. I'm gonna say it again. Next year, it's a different deal. Coming on. I'm I'm not playing next year, and we're more we're Morrison. You know, we got some special things in the popper there, and yeah. hopefully we'll be able to come out and, and uh, not hopefully we will. We'll come out and we'll be the top one of the top cars to be, contend with. I can assure you that. That's awesome. And Kryptonite Customs also helps it out, making this thing beautiful. Well, uh, you know what, uh, Kryptonite. They asked me. Uh, they called me. I don't know about a month ago and said, Hey Keith, uh, can I use your car for the PRI show? And I said, absolutely. I mean, you all did a great job. They wrapped the car great. Yeah. If you look at it, you don't really see any types of seams. Yeah. The, uh, if you look at it, there's a great color shine like paint. You know paint. Yep. You know, I mean, if you look at it now, it's just kind of weird that you can see that much reflection off a of vinyl wrap. Yeah, it is, and it lays good. Yeah. So, And then they've come out with all these new metallics. Right. And everything, so it's all becoming a little bit easier for rap company or for him to do it. And that's another thing with him, you know, he'll fly to somewhere and uh, and wrap your car at your house. So. Yeah. You know, the cool part about it was we talked to Chris. Uh, I don't even know what day it was. I've lost track of the days, but but uh, I said, how many years have you been in business? And he said, well, yeah, it's kind of a touchy subject with me. He said, it really doesn't matter if you do the kind of quality work that we do. And I thought that was a great answer. Well. A lot of people don't know Chris, but if they get to know him, they'll they'll see that he's really, really genuine. Really cares about oh, what he does, oh, what he what he does. What I mean, his work is everything to him. Right. And I, I 
that's why I chose to go with him, and he chose to do it for me, too. I mean, he's done my truck and my trailer and this, doing my golf cart. I mean, so, and, you know, the other part is, is if I ding the front end or I slap the wall and mess it up, he can come right over with another piece, bam, done. Look, look just like it did when it left. So, uh now the other part is, you know, we've got a lot of great race season going on for next year, the PDRA. I am going to run the schedule. Um, you know, we'll run the first five, take a look at it, see where we stand. Right. Some of them are pretty long distance for us and our team to get off. So um, I don't see any reason why we won't make them all because if I'm in the top, I'm not going to go home. Yeah, I can absolutely. assure you that. So, um, you know, it, it, I'm, what's exciting is all these great race cars that are coming out next year, and there's a lot of them. I mean, you got a uh, who? A of, who's the, Stevie? Stevie Fast? Yeah. Stevie Fast. I mean, he's got he's got a great car and uh, running rear power, and uh, and then us, and then you got Stokins, and you got all these. I mean, there's a lot of Franklin, uh, Franklin, and I mean, they're, they're you know the Harris, all of them. It's just it's just going to be interesting to it's see. Be a war, man. It, I think it's going to be. A, I think you're exactly right. It's going to be a war in the trenches next year. You're one of the best businessmen I've ever met in my entire life. Give me your overall point of view, if you will, of the PDR as a one-year company so far? So far, as a, um, as a one-year company, I think they've made leaps and bounds. Um, there's always things that we'll all be able to work on to make things better, no different than the car dealerships that I'm involved in. Mm -hmm. um, it's all about people yeah. and uh, not spreading yourself too thin. Right. If you got good people, everybody thinks you're working your butt off, but you're really not. Right. But it looks like you are. Because you got good people, yeah. and I think that's what's happening with you guys. You all taking care of the TV show. You got Quartermax taking care of the top end. You've got um, you've got the live feed, which is done by Motor Media TV. Yeah. I mean, there's so many things that they're doing and they're bringing that's awesome. And I think next year, you know, if they get the uh, you get the TV show and all that stuff going up, I think it'll be great for PDRA. Things are looking up. I mean, they're really, really, really looking up big time and. Uh... I'm sure looking forward to having you be a part of it, not only with the uh, with the fast race car, but also your personality, and of course, the reality show is going to go along with all of it. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm, and, and like I say, um, that whole series, you know, I've I raced it and had some good success, but nothing that I could compete in. Yeah. And then last year, I come out at the very end of the year, yeah. and uh, at our throwdowns, I have to race the fastest man in the world, um, Frankie. And the only thing I could hope for was a red light or he didn't start. Sure. You know, I went 81, and he goes 59 on me and says yeah. bye. So I'm looking at his butt end the whole way down the racetrack. He had me up 60 foot, or hello, one of the two. <laughs> but, no, it's going to be it's, it's gonna be awesome, and our throwdowns next year are going to be even better. I mean, obviously, you're going to come in and announce those, So it's and uh, Jimmy will be here. So it, it's going to be a, another, another great year is what I'm looking forward to. We'll have a good time. Thanks, Keith Haney, I can't thank you enough. I have... The utmost amount of respect for you. I've told you that a million times. One of the greatest promoters in the world, bar none. One of the greatest race car drivers and one of the fastest cars I'm pretty sure next year that we'll ever see. Thanks, sir. I appreciate it. Too. You're watching PDRA TV from PRI, Indianapolis.